everybody. Good morning. Let's see, that seems to be a little much for us over there. Is that better? Nope, not yet. How about that? That's a lot better. Hey, this is 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Thank you so much for joining me. Getting started a few minutes late this morning because I have a special treat for you today. Um, we'll get to that in just a minute. Hey, if you are watching live or on the replay, first and foremost, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. I'm doing the show for you, so it always helps when you show up. And uh, if you would do me the favor, leave a comment down below. Just let me know that you were here. And if you happen to be listening on iTunes or TuneIn or Stitcher or wherever you get your favorite podcast from, uh, join us over on Facebook sometime when you have a chance. Go to 7minutesinthemorning.com. That will get you to the right place on Facebook to be able to watch the show live or you can watch the replay there and uh, leave comments there as well. Join the conversation that's going on there. Joe, I think I saw Joe come in there. Good morning to you, sir. Yep, there he is. There he is. Get that in the right place there. Okay. All right. So I told you I had a treat for you this morning. Are you ready for it? You ready? If you're not watching, you're going to miss it. I mean, you'll get the gist of it, but you won't get the full benefit. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Oh, it's a graphic. So I'm using a quote today, talking about a quote, uh, and this one comes from one of my favorite people to quote, uh, Albert Einstein. Creativity is intelligence having fun. Creativity is intelligence having fun. That's the quote that we're working on today. The title of today's show was, Are You Creative? I said one time to, um, well, I said one time, that I didn't have a creative bone in my body. And, uh, and, and actually that, that whole, um, let me back up and tell you the whole story there because, well, my wife and I were taking one of my mentors and his wife to dinner. And so we were just kind of milling around. We'd stop by to pick them up. We were just kind of milling around and wait, you know, getting everything together to leave. And as we're talking and, and chatting, I made the comment now and have a creative bone in my body and his wife lowered the boom on me. And she's a very creative person and he is also. But she said, Oh yes, you do. And just went on and just began to beat me about the head and shoulders for saying that I didn't have a creative bone in my body. Her point is that we all are creative in some way. M many of us don't use that creativity. Don't recognize it for what it is and don't put it to use for what it can do. And that is a great loss. Ever since then, I've been, um, what? Well, ever since then, I don't say that I don't have a creative bone in my body anymore. And I'm much more aware of the different ways that creativity expresses itself. I mean, for example, I mean, I've done a lot of, um, most of my, a, a lot of my business experience, my professional experiences in databases, programming, that sort of thing. And I kind of make this joke that, you know, black letters on the white background look, looks great to me. And in fact, you know, courier looks great because it's spaced correctly and everything. That might not be a, um, a very creative uh, view on how things should look, but I can express a lot of creativity in creating the code behind that that creates the page, right? So now as I look at it, I recognize I can be creative in either creating the code or the algorithms or the, the, the systems behind what other people can put a pretty face on. So, if if I can create that background, if I can create the system and that creates the the data and then use someone else's gifts, because we're all uniquely gifted, talented, and placed, use someone else's gifts to make it more aesthetically pleasing, I'm open to that. That's fine with me. 
and, and and it really comes back to that thought that we're each uniquely gifted, talented, and placed. I might be uniquely get, uh, gifted in seeing patterns in data that other people don't see where someone else wouldn't, you know, can paint or someone else can uh, figure out how to route pipe and when they're plumbing or I, I mean, I don't know. So the trick is, if there's a trick to it, the trick is to understand what your unique gift and talent is and then be creative in that way. I mean, it doesn't have to be, I do a lot of video, I, I speak a lot. Doesn't have to be that way for you. You could write. There's, I mean, I, I don't enjoy writing as much as I enjoy doing this. So I do this more often, but there are people that love to write and they're very good at it. And so that's what they should pursue. So figure out where your unique gifts and talents are. And then use those to pursue the outcome that you're trying to create. You know, our theme, I guess this is going to be the theme for a while. Stop letting life happen to you and begin to create the life you crave. Well, that life you crave, you are gifted and talented to have the life that you crave. Stop fighting it. Use what you've been given. Uh, and use that to pursue that outcome that you're looking for. Yeah, Joe says you have to be creative to set goals and identify the end result. I agree with that. I mean, there is a, there is a measure of creativity that goes into seeing something that's not there. I mean, if the goal were there, wouldn't be a goal, right? So seeing something that's not there and how to create that, that requires a measure of creativity. So that's one way that you can be creative. Think about that for a minute. Uh, if you feel so motivated, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you believe you are uniquely gifted and talented, what your creative skill is. That would be awesome to learn that about you. Um, my creative skill. <laughs> I will say um, interviewing people. Because I've had several people tell me that my interviews are really good. It just comes naturally to me. I just want it to be a conversation, so it's easy for me. So we'll go with that. That you know, and I'll, I'll just touch on this briefly on the way out. A lot of people are dismissive of their gifts and talents because they're easy to them, right? Oh well, that's easy. That's not really a gift. No, it's easy because it is a gift. Don't overlook that. All right, going to wrap it up for today. Today's Wednesday Coffee Shop Show coming up at 9 o'clock. Don't miss that. You can find that right here at the same place, 7minutesinthemorning.com. Uh, we will be there. And another special treat coming up for you tomorrow. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow afternoon. I'll put that back up so you can see that. That is Mr. Einstein having a good time. We don't often see pictures of him laughing and smiling like that, but I have a couple of good ones that I like to use. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for now. See you in a couple hours on the Coffee Shop Show or talk to you in a couple hours on the Coffee Shop Show. And back here again in the morning, 7 o'clock Central Time in the States for 7 minutes in the morning. You guys take care.